We are going to get set to introduce the 26 car field for the mini stocks. 50 laps on Frosttoberfest weekend presented by London Recreational. Starting in the 26th spot at a St. George, Ontario in the Craney Industrial Services. Golden Horseshoe Industrial Contractors, number 55, 59 machine, it's Tyler Lewis. Starting in the 25th position out of London, Ontario, in the Foundation Brothers Waterproof Systems Structural Repair, A&I Recycling Stratford, it's the 85 of Tyler Wheel. Starting in the 24th spot out of Brantford, Ontario, in the Action Hand Car Wash, Brantford, Minuteman Press, Brantford, number 05 machine, it's David Goodacre. Starting in the 23rd spot out of Brentford, Ontario, in the Epic Racewear, Mike Johnson's Carpentry, number 77 machine, it's Rory Markle. Starting in the 22nd spot out of Wasega Beach, Ontario, in the Nauta Wasega Mechanical, Air Con, number 6 machine, it's Terry Woodley. Starting 21st out of Omimi, Ontario, on the Lakeside Mobile Tire, Inc., Howe Electrical Services, number 88M, it's Chris Tupman. Starting in the 20th spot out of Lindsay, Ontario, on the Canadian Tech Air Systems, Lakeside Mobile Ti Tire, Incorporated, number, 20, or number 84 machine, it's Kent Missions. Starting in the 19th spot out of Aurelia, Ontario, on the Wilman College, Rama First Nations, number 14X machine, it's Doug Roman. Starting in the 18th spot at a Barrie, Ontario, on the Parameter Auto Services, Sintas, number 94, 95 machine, it's Michael Robinson the third. Starting in the 17th spot out of Guelph, Ontario, on the Two Speed Motorsports, number 7 machine, it's Brian Wilson, Sr. Starting in the 16th spot out of Georgetown, Ontario, in the Auto Tech Service Center, Auto Tech Service Center, McMillan Motorsports, number 72 machine, it's Wyatt Sutcliffe. Starting in the 15th spot out of Aaron, Ontario, in the Logals Auto Parts, number 14 machine, it's Brian Wilson, Jr. Starting in the 14th position out of Waterford, Ontario, in the Jibs, Graphic Market Solutions, number 46X, it's Wade Thorne. Starting in the 13th position, out of Georgetown in the Auto Tech Service Center, McMillan Motorsports, number 27 machine, it's Jacob Sutcliffe. Starting in the 12th spot at a Mount Pleasant, Ontario, in the Dairy Queen Brent. Ken Wallace Contracting, Inc., number 45 machine, it's Caitlin Wallace. Starting in the 11th position out of Arthur, Ontario, in the Kenny Painting, J. Raps, number 98 machine, it's R.J. Croto. Now time to meet your top 10 starters. Out of Hamilton, Ontario, and the Ken Wallace Contracting Maple Mechanical Number Eight Machine, it's Dale Millard. Starting ninth out of Clinton, Ontario, and the Radar Auto Parts Townsend Tires Number Twenty Machine, it's Ryan Edwards Kiss. Starting in the eighth position out of Sable Beach, Ontario, and the Luscious Bakery GT Cycle Number Eighty Eight Machine, it's Ryder White. Starting in the seventh position out of Cambridge, Ontario, in the Cummins, Manac Trailers, Laidlaw, number 33 machine, it's Mike Happy Gilmore. Starting in the sixth position out of Almonte, Ontario, in the Babbins Auto Repair, Doug's Automotive Solutions, number 28 machine, it's Nolan Gould. Starting in the fifth position out of Burlington, Ontario, on the GM Electric, B.W. Hager Crane Rentals, number 76 machine, it's Sean Taylor. Starting in the fourth position out of Guelph, Ontario, on the Spira Fire Protection, Lucas Oil, number 81 assets, Blaze Shaw. 
Charting in the third spot out of Dundas, Ontario in the Blue Street Contracting. a and &E Auto number 81 machine. It's Carl Salt. Now time to meet your front row from Hamilton, Ontario in the Butcher and Banker Font Hills. Tap your shoes, number 16 machine. It's Mike Thompson. Starting on the pole in the Highway 90 signs, LCDC color and coating from New Lowell, Ontario. In the number 10 machine, it's Doug Butler. Ladies and gentlemen, your starting lineup for the 50 lap mini stock portion of Frosttoberfest. Going to get a couple pictures here right in front of this beautiful looking field of mini stocks. We'll see if we can get Rich in here and Mike. You guys want to say the famous words to fire these guys up for 50 laps? Here we go. Drivers, start, start your engine. There we go. Ready to go for 50 laps for the mini stock portion at Flamborough Speedway here on Frosttoberfest weekend. Presented by London Recreational Racing, Grisdale Enterprises, Quick Rick Firestarters, and all of you, the fans, for joining us here this weekend. Jerry, what do you think? 50 laps the distance here. This is going to be a good one. There is no doubt about that one. This is going to be a barn burner just like that Crowley model feature. And this is, we haven't seen this many mini stocks on the racetrack all together in quite a while. So this promises to be a great race. And 50 laps for them, that is a marathon. Well, looking at this beautiful looking field, Jerry, what do you think? Uh, a lot of drivers to pick from. Who do you think might have a chance to walk home with the Igloo here for the mini stock portion of this one? That's going to be a tough call for sure. But uh, one of the drivers I've got to keep my eye on that 33, Mike Gilmore, home racetrack advantage. And of course, I almost forgot. We got Mike Thompson in this one, and he has been tough. <clears throat> Those two drivers have definitely put on quite a show here this season at Flamborough Speedway. One driver who, I don't know if you can call him really a ringer, the 76 of Sean Taylor. Picked up the Igloo last year, part of the mini stock portion of this one. Now he is starting in that fifth position this is going to be one that i'm going to watch that 76 of sean taylor see if he can slice and dice through the field a couple big strong drivers here as well that 10 doug butler came home with the alan lanking trophy here earlier this season at sunset speedway picked up a few wins along the way so that 10 machine quick in practice we're going to see if that 10 car has anything here for the rest of this field but keep in mind as well our quick time pole sitter Starting in that sixth position, that 28 of Nolan Gould. He picked up a couple wins here at Flamborough Speedway towards the end of the year, kind of getting ready for this one. So he's going to be one to watch here as well. The full field, this is going to be one you're going to not want to miss. This is going to be a doozy. 50 laps coming up for the mini stocks here at Flamborough Speedway, part of Frost Toberfest. Race. Bennett Jam Chevrolet Pigs truck pulls off. We're ready to go. Mini stock racing here at Flamborough Speedway. Off of turn four, the Thunder is underway. And now they go into turn number one. The number 10. Our fourth brother is trying to hit on the lead. Mike Thompson on the outside edge. He's in the front of the Dallas Max Jordan. He's on the high side of the race track. He's up to turns three and four. And that may be what it takes. Number 10 of Butler has the lead on lap number one. Butler has the lead for now, but Thompson fighting back. Really hard on the outside, but Butler's going to clear Thompson down the back straight away into turns three and four. Move that 10 machine of Doug Butler nice and clear, but now he's opened up the bottom for a set. Maybe taking a beat to the inside as well. This is a long one, 50 laps of distance for this one, so you really got to settle in. You're trying to get your bearings here as they got a full 50 laps to go here in this one. 
26 Carl Schwab, we know Doug Bunger is still out front. Carl Sold in second by Thompson in third, fourth, the 76 of Sean Taylor, and it's a side by side battle for fifth. Roland Green in the bottom of Blaze Shaw up top. Down the back straight away they go. And Carl Sold that number 81, he has been really good in the start. So keep an eye on that 81, it will not be long before he makes a move on the number 10. Uh, Jeff Butler, he just says him up right now. Mike Thompson right behind him in that 16, and the 76. Uh, John Taylor, and the batter behind him for that fifth position. He's getting a little bit on the wrong side now. Taylor Bird in the bottom, number 81. A great shot with the high side of the track. And now, the 28 gets ahead. Here, we take over fifth. Just ahead of Gould there, side by side for that third and fourth spot. John Taylor on the bottom, Carl Sack on top. Prompt to the zero five of David Whitaker. He brings up Carl into the mid area. Taylor clearing the 81 of Sol. Oh, Prompt's right behind the 81 of Blaze Shaw. Goes up way high into the inside, almost got into the wall. He's able to lock that machine down and keep that 81 nice out of the wall. Goes in a second and side by side with the 88 of Robert White. The biggest slot just ahead of the eight car. Butler moves up the track, and now Taylor right on the back. Butler's going to go down the back straight away. Butler is in front. 
Sean Taylor now to see if he can make a move on that 10 of Greg Butler. Butler has been using the outside line here a little bit early on in this one. Now he's a different challenger behind him. That's 76 of Sean Taylor. He's going to move that arm into the corner to see if he can set himself up. Power off the bottom side up the speedway. Butler way up the racetrack. Open up that bottom line. He's trying to keep that momentum up. But Taylor's going to pull up alongside. They're going to be side by side. Now they're going to one and two in this one. Taylor on the bottom. Butler on the top. They're going to battle down the back straightaway. And now it's Taylor out in front. Butler back to second. Thompson on the move. He gets underneath the tent of Butler. He's up in the third. He's looking for second. Down the front. Turn away the door to door. As he comes across, it's right down the third. One and two. Thompson on the bottom. Butler on the top. Thompson with the advantage down the back straightaway. Thompson creeping ever so slightly to be able to clear that 10 of Doug Butler. He's going to do it off a of turn four this time around. Move that 16 machine up the second spot. Now Butler is going to face the challenge from the 28 of Nolan Cool. Cool to pull up to the inside, side by side for that third and fourth position. They are side by side in the three and four. Cool with a little bit of an advantage off a of turn four. The Butler is going to battle back on the top side still. Side by side, that means turn one. That battle for third, starting to heat up, going forward, and then 28, he's trying hard, but Butler on the outside, making it work hard for it. Carl Schultz, the number 81, ready behind it, the third is on, and the 81, a play shot. Shaw now looking inside on Gilmore, that's going to be the battle for the sixth and seventh position. Shaw going to make quick work of Gilmore as he slides underneath that 33 machine now for that Spyro Fire at number 81 car. Up to six, see if he can knock on the door in the top five here. They're still side by side battle just up ahead of them. Rowan Gould on the bottom, Doug Butler on the top, they work around the 85 of Tyler Wheel. Butler's going to creep out in front, he's going to hold on to that third spot from now as the front two are broken away in this one. And they do have a sizable lead on the tail of Butler, 128 of Gould, then the 81. Up front of Salt, the other 81, the yellow and blue, that's Blaze Shaw. As we come through the cross flags, we are at the halfway, 25 down, 25 to go. Right now, John Taylor owns it, behind him, 16 of Pete Thompson. But that's about a five and six car length difference right now in the big open attack. Taylor still out in front, running nice and steady lap time. He's just trying to keep that distance between him and the 16 of Mike Thompson at about that two, two and a half, maybe three car length advantage. Then it's almost another half straight away back to that 10 of Doug Butler. The rest of the field is trying to sort of themselves out here. We'll give you an update here on the rundown. Sean Taylor out front in the 76. Second will be the 16 of Mike Thompson. Third, the 10 of Doug Butler. Fourth, the 28 of Brian Gould. Fifth will be the 81 of Carl Salt. Sixth. Will be the 81 S of Blaze Shaw, 7 to 33 of Mike Gilmore, 8 the 88 of Ryder White, 9 to 20 of Ryan Edward Skiss, 10 will be the 8 of Dan Millard, 11 to 46 X of Wayne Thorne, 12 to 98 of RJ Crochu, 13 to 27 of Jacob Sutton, 14 to 7 of Ryan Wilson Senior, 15 to 45 of Peter Wallace, 16 to 14 of Ryan Wilson Jr., 17 to 14 X of Doug Willen, 18th to 88 of Chris Tubman, 19th to 72 of Ryan Sutcliffe, 20th to 77 of Rory Martha, 21st to 85 of Tyler Real, 22nd to 95 of Michael Robinson, the third, 23rd to 6 X of Terry Whitley, 24th to 84 of Kent Mission, 25th to 05 of David Bittaker, and 26th to 59 of Tyler Lewis. 30 laps into this one, 20 laps to go, Sean Taylor out front, looking around that 88M of Chris Tubman in the 14 X of Doug Norman. Mike Thompson just closing that gap here on the turn four. The sun is starting to shut in the set. This is going to be a good one here as he goes in on 19 laps to go in this one. And that lap traffic giving Mike Thompson the opportunity to close up a little on the 76 of Sean Taylor. Taylor's just doing a great job on the front, but thinking he's going through the traffic. He's being very careful. That's a lot of Thompson to bring it up within about five car lengths as they come down the front straight away heading into turn one and two. Behind, uh, probably 10 car lengths at number 10. Up top Butler, then at number 28. Uh, and they are stretched out just a little bit as they make the way down this racetrack. It's 
33 laps into this one of this 50 lap main event here for the mini stock portion of Flamborough Speedway's Frost Cobra Fest program presented by London Road. Problems into turns one and two, then the 85 of Tyler Wheel will leave the 72 of Ryan Sutcliffe. Those two get together. We're going to carry on here, but that was right in the midst of the top five drivers as those two lap drivers caught together right on the bottom of turn number two. Green flag will stay in the air, but those two drivers are going to have to ground it themselves back up. Oh, another one around the 33 of Mike Gilmore, right into the tires in the middle of the back straightaway. Right in front of you, Jerry, is he going to continue on? He's on his way. Mike Gilmore was running in that seventh position. He's going to carry on, but he's going to be back to about the 14th position here. He's going to spot at 15th position right behind the 14 of Brian Wilson Jr. Not sure exactly what happened there, but we're going to continue on. Still out front, Sean Taylor, Mike Thompson sitting in second, third, Doug Butler in the 10, fourth, and 28 of Nolan Gould. And in that fifth spot, the only one of Carl Salt. The big question now is, is Sean Taylor using up the car? And is that allowing Thompson to close the gap just a little bit? He's now within about three car lengths. He plays a lot of river back. He just continually keeps the head. I don't know if he's got enough time, but 15 to go. They are closing in on this one, 37 now, 38 laps goes up on the board here. The one thing that Taylor's going to have to contend with, contend with is going to be lap traffic. There's a heavy dose in front of him. On to the 88 of right and right, he is slow down the front straightaway. He's in the turns one and two, we'll see if he can keep that car at the inside and pull it off into the pit area here. We'll see what the problem is for the 88 and he will, he's going to bring it into the infield. Rob's that 88 of right away as he was running inside that top 10. He's going to be disappointed with this one, but we're going to stay under that green flag position. 10 laps to go on this one. Sean Taylor still in front. And Johnson in that number 16. Closing down that gap little by little. It's a two car length lead, but now as they come into the turn, it's a one car length difference. As Thompson closes in on Taylor, Taylor drives away a little bit down the straightaway. Thompson wheels and goes back in to go through the corners. Those two drivers, like we said earlier, have battled throughout the season here in Flamborough Speedway. Mike Thompson, our champion in the mini stock division, Sean Taylor, though. Whenever he showed up, he was one to contend with. And right now, that 76 of Taylor still out front looking to see if he can go two for two in the last two years in the mini stocks and sweep the Anglers here in the mini stock portion. That gap is really closing as Thompson's going to close it to within a car length down the front straightaway. It's getting a lot tighter in that battle up in front. As the lap cars in front of race from side by side, that's forcing Taylor to get off the gas pedal and allowing Thompson to bring it right up to the back bumper. Here they come to curves three and four. The lap traffic moves to the high side of the racetrack. Taylor down the line with Thompson in pursuit. Thompson on the back bumper as they come to turn number two. Nose to tail down the back straightaway, lap 44 on the board here. There was a whole mess of lap cars in front of them. Thompson trying to see if he can make every move count. This time, five laps to go here in this one. Lap 45 goes up on the board. Thompson up to the back bumper of Taylor, but can't quite get underneath them. They're going to power down the back straightaway once again with lap cars in front of them. And with three lap cars sitting right there in front, they're being very careful where they go. Taylor goes to the outside to try and get around. They get sent to the ground to number 88 of Ryder White. Got a long way to go, though, as they go down the box further. And Taylor now starting to pull away just a little bit. Thompson trying to pick this way through carefully. And into turn number two with three laps remaining. Taylor still out front, Thompson, Thompson hits the wall down the back straightaway, Thompson into the fence down in the middle of the back straightaway, as he's trying to push everything he can in that 16 machine, that's going to open up that advantage just a little bit more, two to go over the 76 of Sean Taylor, and he's opened up about a 4-5 car length lead over the 16 of Mike Thompson. Just two laps remaining, two to go. As Taylor now brings it out of turn number four down the front straightaway, the white flag in the air for Sean Thompson at that number 76. Mike Thompson has fallen back about 10 car lengths. Sean Taylor in the 76 already headed into turn number three. The bring it around out of 
way down the front straightaway. Sean Taylor, 76, picks up the win. Mike Thompson in the 16, will have to settle for second. Thompson brings that 16 car in second spot. Third, the 10 of Doug Butler. Fourth will be the 28 of Roland Gould. And rounding out the top five, the 81 S of Blaine Shaw. Sean Taylor in the 76 machine once again picks up the eagle here at Flamborough Speedway, part of Frost Oberfest weekend, presented by London Recreational Quick Quick Fire Starter in Grisdale Enterprises. He's going to bring that machine into Victory Lane with a happy bunch waiting for him down in Quick Quick Victory Lane. But what a race for the rest of the field as they rolled off quite a few laps, caution free. The 16 of Mike Thompson couldn't quite close the deal in the end, but a great race here for the mini stock portion of this one at Flamborough Speedway. We'll try to give you a quick rundown here of the rest of the field. Six was the 81 of Carl Salt, seventh, the eight of Dale Millard, eighth, the 27 of Jacob Sutcliffe, ninth, the seven of Brian Wilson, and rounding out the top 10, the 20 of Ryan Edwards Kiss, 11th, the 46 of Wade Thorne, 12th, the 45 of Caitlin Wallace, 13th, the 14 of Brian Wilson Jr., 14th, the 33 of Mike Gilmore, and in 15th, the 14X of Doug Woolman. We'll get the rest of the field here in just a moment. I believe you've got a happy Sean Taylor down a quick, quick victory lane there, Jerry. I don't know how happy he is, but he sure is looking a little worse for wear. As he's trying to hydrate just a little bit here. <laughs> As he is so worn out. How about a big hand for our feature winner, Sean Taylor. John, somehow I got the feeling you really weren't looking forward to all that lap traffic. I was trying to uh, mine the gap, but uh, yeah, Mike was definitely keeping me honest there and uh, chasing me down. He was, I would say he was probably quicker than it would have been tough to get around me, but uh, congrats to him on his championship here. It was a great, great, great show for all of us. I think uh, we ran a pretty, pretty clean race, 50 laps, a lot less carnage than last year. <laughs> yeah, had a great show. Getting around Doug Butler in that number 10 car was the first challenge. No, oh, yeah, definitely. Doug's such a such a tough competitor. Uh, this is the first year we've really been going head-to-head -head against each other, and, I mean, he's he's the king up at sunset, and I guess we're still pretty good here at Flamborough. <laughs> Apparently, if you can put it in victory lane after 50 laps. Congratulations. Sean Taylor, your feature winner. Sean Taylor picked up his first igloo there last season. He comes back and does it once again here in 2023, picking up once again another igloo here for the mini stock portion of this one. Happy bunch over here at Quick Quick Victory Lane, and I'm sure once he gets back to the pit area, the rest of the team is going to be super thrilled. He parked that number 76 GM Electric Kangaroo Trailers, number 76 in Quick Quick Victory Lane. 